All right, in this video, I've got one stock that Kathy Wood has been buying that I think is a buy right now. Now, this is a stock that I've had rated as a hold for a long time now, and the company's recent changes and recent improvements, and combined with the valuation, has led me to upgrade this stock to a buy, which is why I'm recommending it now after all this time. So let's dig into these details. Let's see what this stock is and why Kathy Wood likes it and why I'm also recommending this stock as a buy right now. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, the stock that I'm talking about is Unity Software. It's down 83.5% off its high, and this is one of the main factors that has me recommending the stock. Previously, the stock has been too expensive for me to recommend, but now with this decrease in valuation, combined with the big massive layoff that Unity Software announced in early January, has led me to recommend the stock as a buy. The layoffs are going to help improve profitability and cash flow. And then the price decrease is helping with valuation. The combination of those factors has led me to upgrade Unity Software stock to a buy. Of course, over the years, Unity Software has done a good job increasing revenue up from a little over 500 million in a trailing 12 month period up to more than 2 billion in the most recent trailing 12 month period. Of course, that was partly helped by a major acquisition that fueled revenue when combining those forces to Unity Software. The company's in a good position here in the gaming industry, one of the leading providers of gaming software development, one of the favorite sources. It had a little blunder trying to change its pricing model but reverted quickly. And I like the magnitude of the layoffs, over 20% of its workforce being laid off, shows that the company is serious about profitability. This isn't one of those 2% or 3% layoffs that we've been hearing about tech companies doing in 2024. This is a big notable layoff that's going to improve profitability for the company. Of course, following the news of how much the severance packages and the restructuring expenses will be in this regard. Still, the magnitude of the layoff is notable enough to lead to Wall Street to increase their profit and cash flow expectations for Unity Software, which I will show you as well. But first, let's take a look at its operating profit margin, trailing 12 month, negative 41.77%. So you can see the, the need for layoffs to improve profitability. But I had already started to notice an upturn in its profitability. You can see it was heading in the wrong direction this whole time, all the way until 2023, the start of 2023. And this whole time I had been telling investors, don't buy the stock. It's expensive and its profitability is going in the wrong direction. I wouldn't recommend the stock and I just told investors to just wait. There's going to be a better time to buy this stock and that better time has come. You see the company has stopped going in the wrong direction and it's actually moving in the right direction here for several quarters now making progress on profitability and then to top that off the announcement of the more than 20% reduction in workforce really put the hit the nail on the head here with management making a commitment to investors and telling them look we're really serious about profitability and so that's the factors that has me um, recommending the stock and let me show you what wall street expects from unity over the next few years so for 2024 wall street expects earnings per share to improve to a loss of 99 cents for Unity Software. That's from a loss of $1.70 in 2023. So a 70 cent improvement there. And then from 2023 to 2024, they expect that to improve further from a loss of 99 cents to a loss of 68 cents. Meanwhile, for operating cash flow, which we're gonna learn more about in just a little bit, Wall Street expects Unity to improve more than triple from the 59 cents in cash flow from operations per share to a dollar 81 in 2024 and then further improved to two dollars and 65 cents in 2025 so a massive increase in cash flow from operations expected from unity software so let's get a closer look at cash flow from operations and why that's important 
cash flow from operations is one of the most vital metrics I consider when making an investment decision. If any financial shenanigans are happening, looking at this metric can help uncover the fraud. Moreover, looking at profitability without considering cash flow from operations can lead to a misleading picture of a company's performance. For instance, look at the example I have created here. The company reported a net loss of $250. However, when you look at the cash flow from operations, it was a gain of $35. How can that be? Well, two expenses a company must report on the income statement are depreciation and stock-based compensation. Importantly, these are non-cash expenses. Money is not leaving the company for these expenses. In the case of depreciation, when a company buys a machine for $750, it pays all of that price up front. However, generally accepted accounting principles require that the company take the expense over a period the machine is expected to operate. So if the machine is expected to last for 10 years, the annual expense will be $75 per year for 10 years, even though the company paid the $750 cash at the time of the purchase. Also, when a company offers its employees a stock option, it's not parting with cash. However, it must record the cash value of the option as an expense on the income statement. So moving on to the working capital items, inventory management is the easiest way a company can increase cash flow. The simplest case is when a business has 100 inventory units, sells 30 units, and doesn't replace those units. The decision would reduce total inventory and increase cash flow. As you might already be thinking, this isn't sustainable. Eventually, the company will deplete all its inventory and go out of business. Accounts payable is the money that a company owes another company and has not paid yet. And accounts receivable is the opposite. A company can increase its cash flow by collecting payments faster and paying suppliers slower. If done with skill, companies at scale can take advantage of these timing differences to boost cash flow by a couple of percent annually. Costco is one example that employs this strategy masterfully. Overall, if you observe cash flow increasing unsustainably, you should expect a reversal of that trend. The other big risk to consider is if you see a company reporting substantial profits, but negative or weak cash flow, due to rising accounts received. All right, so now that you have an understanding of that metric, you can see Unity Software had been volatile in recent years, moving up to 5.6% in the most recent update. And then again, to continue making the same point, the layoffs are gonna help bring up cash flow from operations as Wall Street has upgraded their estimates for Unity Software going forward. And Notably, they expect revenue growth to continue as well, that these layoffs are not going to impact revenue growth for the company. And finally, I had mentioned that valuation is now attractive. Unity Software is trading at a forward price to earnings of just 23.06. This is the cheapest this stock has traded for going all the way back to January of 2022. So you're getting this stock at a two-year low in terms of valuation, and you're getting it on the cusp of exploding cash flow from operations on improving profitability. So for all those reasons, I'm upgrading Unity Software stock to a buy. And it also helps that Kathy Wood is supporting this stock, is also buying this stock and adding her credibility to this name as well. And that attracts other investors that are following Kathy Wood and her investments as well. Thank you for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. I know there's a lot you could be doing with your time and a lot of other videos you could be watching. So I truly appreciate that you chose to watch this one. If you wanna see more videos just like this, hit the subscribe or the like button. They'll both help me make more videos just like this one. Thank you again.